There has been a refugee crisis all the time, if you ask most of the people in uh, humanitarian organizations who deal with these problems. Um, so when we talk about the specific uh, refugee crisis now taking place in Europe, we are usually referring to the crisis that, um, uh, I guess, reached its peak in 2015. Uh, this has been long in the making. 1,200,000 people have officially applied for asylum within 2015 alone. Uh, that means uh, first-time asylum uh, seekers, uh, which means that it's um, a special year in that sense, and that's why we call it the refugee crisis, because of the magnitude of the problem. It's not that this problem didn't exist before. The U.S. administration has been left out of this conversation in Europe. But um, uh, it's clear that it's a, a very salient issue in the U.S. In the United States, uh, we've seen periods where amnesties have been granted, um, but we also have seen periods where millions of people uh, are, um, are uh, undocumented immigrants and uh, tolerated, in quotation marks, as such. Uh, now, this is contested in this election, I understand. Uh, and that will be a very important issue in this election. Now, conflating the, the refugee crisis um, with the immigration issue that has been going, ongoing in the United States for decades uh, would be a, a misconception and, and, and a misunderstanding because those are two different uh, processes. These people who are coming as undocumented immigrants uh, to work here uh, or, and to participate in the labor market in whatever way they, they are able to, uh, they are not seeking asylum. That uprooting is a terrible experience for anyone. Uh, so uh, we should think twice when we're thinking uh, that these people are just leaving their countries for better uh, opportunities. Most of them would not want to leave. From a global perspective, from an international perspective, you could definitely say that the United States uh, could take more ownership of this problem. Uh, some would say should take more ownership of this problem. But um, this administration has been trying to deal with these problems in a more multilateral way. And I believe that the, the plan is to let the European Union member states and the leaders of Europe deal with this with the help of the United States rather than the United States being at the forefront of the solution of this problem.